Corsair's new Vengeance RGB Pro Series DDR4 memory gives you blazing fast speed and dynamic multi-zone RGB lighting with 10 ultra-bright LEDs per module. Customization options are practically endless with the Corsair IQ software package and they're available with black or white heat spreaders. Find out more about the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro Series via the sponsor link in the description. Excellent! Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm in Germany. And by the time you can watch this, uh, it should have been announced and confirmed. One, I was invited here by NVIDIA. I'm attending Gamescom, but also a big announcement about new NVIDIA graphics cards, RTX series. But before any of that, I have a pretty major problem right now, which is that I'm running out of power. I have lots of international power adapters at home. I forgot all of them. I can't plug anything in to charge it. So I'm taking a 30 minute walk to Media Market to hopefully buy an international power adapter. A very existential tagging here in Germany. Kind of makes you think. Anyway though, I made a left on Whipper further, and now I am on Vietterstr... Vietterstr? I have difficulty pronouncing German words. I found it. I guess it's in here. This place is pretty awesome. They have appliances, uh, very equivalent to like, maybe like a Best Buy or a Fry's back in the US, but uh, I don't know, it feels pretty clean in here. I just need to figure out where, where the AC adapters are. All right, I found what I'm looking for, travel adapters. They have a bunch over here. I found one online that was five euro, but they don't seem to have it available here. They have one of these, which is 10 euro. And I'm supposed to get a couple of these for Kyle too, because he's in the same situation. There's only one of these. These down here are 12. It just seems like a lot. Oh, hey, check it out, bargain bin. $5.99 for a stacker version. I think I'm just gonna get a few of these and hopefully a couple of them will work. All right, success. However, I did not get a bag, so I get to hand carry these. Now for a half an hour walk back to the hotel, yay. So on the way back, it started raining, which sucked, but I was at least able to discover where the convention center is, and I went and got my press badge, so that's convenient. But now I'm back at the hotel. This is where we're staying. It's the Radisson Blue. It's not very blue though, I don't know why it's blue. I made it back, I got the AC power adapters, and now we're on a bus. Look, it's Anthony and it's Dimitri. Kyle's hungover because he drank too much last night. Look at me. Also, Nate's here uh, from Anantech. Brad's back there too. It's like everyone's here. It's almost like it's a special event that they're launching a big product at that they invited a bunch of press to. It's almost like it's baffling. Entering the venue, they seem to have put a lot of effort into the cooling for this place. I hope these aren't for the actual graphics card. Probably not. So last night they took us to the NVIDIA event, the live stream, Jensen talked, they announced the 20 series of RTX GPUs, uh, RTX 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti. It was a cool event, it was a lot of fun, but we ended up leaving there at 10 p.m. And then I went back to the hotel, shot a video, edited a video, uploaded a video. Uh, I went to bed about 4 a.m. And now today is the first day of Gamescom, it's the media day. So it's not gonna be quite as crowded. I'm told Gamescom is like E3, but with like five times the amount of people. So we'll see if that actually plays out. But for now, I'm gonna wander over and check out the show floor. Dang, security's tight here. They all have yellow vests. Pretty empty today, fortunately. I imagine relative to tomorrow. Uh, oh look, I think I see vendor booths. Let's see if I can spot any of the new 2080 Ti cards or that kind of thing.
I'm over at the Pilot and Gainward booth. This is the Gainward Phantom Cooler. These are just dummy boards that they're setting these up with, but they are setting up the coolers for the 20 series, so 2080, 2080 Ti. This is a 2080 Ti Phantom from Gainward, and I'm told all of the 2080 Ti coolers are triple slot. Uh, it's like this Phoenix one back here, so this is their Phoenix cooler. Triple, also triple fan design, also for the 2080 Ti. And these are all in glass cases, so I can't get the best angles on them, but you can kind of get an idea of the size and bulk of the cooling solution, which is pretty substantial. has a, a lot of floor space here. Or is this Gigabyte, of course. Oh, that's why. They're doing eSports. You can do it right. Not up and go, just up. This is the mysterious Oris gaming room where they have gaming going on. And look at the 2080 Ti. This is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Gaming OC 11G from Boris. Now the thing standing out to me about this card is it is actually a two slot design. And uh, I was just told by the guy at Pallet that all the, 1080, or all the 2080 Ti is a three slot. This doesn't seem to be true, so good job Gigabyte if you've managed to make one that can fit in two slots. Triple fan design. Uh, Gigabyte with their coolers, I've really enjoyed some of the styles they've had like this in the past. And I feel like they're bringing it back. It's not all black like the old 980s and 980 Ti's but I like the silver, or kind of the, uh, the darker gray. I can't speak much to the cooling, but it looks like there's a decent number of copper heat pipes in there and everything, and you get full exposure of this uh, new special NV-Link SLI bridge. Uh, that's the first time I've seen that close up. Hi Jacob. Hello. Where are your awesome EVGA graphics cards? Right down there. Okay, I'm going to go inside that tank right there. Cool. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hop in on the side. You got to climb inside. Alright, let's get into it. EVGA. Look. It's a, it's a graphics. Look, I'm touching it. Oh my gosh. This is unprecedented. This is the uh, EVGA RTX 2080 Ti. This is a dual fan version. So this is the new box design. Oh. Saved it. Almost full Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been way worse. <laughs> so yeah, this so is the new box. So basically it's vertical. Oh. So it's like a much more premium box yeah. than we've had. So for the, this gen we pretty much redesigned everything from the box to the card. The cooler is ICX2 technology brand new. We have a new version Precision. Also completely redesigned with new features, new, new layout, new GUI. I saw some of your tweets of that. The new layout looks pretty clean. Yeah. Uh, so guys, two different versions here. This is the XC version with the two fans here. So this will be the more reasonable price one. This is the one that I was actually able to find. At least the 2080 version on Newegg for uh, a slightly more reasonable price. This is the For the Win version. 
the 2080 over there. It is a that's the 2080 version of the RTX over there. That is the for the win version. All these have the new ICX version 2 cooling. They've done a bunch of stuff like rearranging the fan blades and spinning in the other direction, reconfiguring the cooling solution here, beefing up the base plate down there for some enhanced cooling. Uh, they also have, of course, some aesthetic uh, characteristics to keep in mind. So they were asking me for some feedback on these sort of gray plastic here. It's a, it's a sturdy polycarbonate plastic here, so it doesn't feel flimsy at all. But uh, I don't know. Give us your feedback on that. They're considering giving some aesthetic upgrade possibilities to these, for example. So uh, the little accent pieces on the corners can be replaced, swapped out. There's red and white versions here. There's also some black versions down there at the bottom. And then this is sort of a aesthetic plates that you could perhaps purchase separately and then put over the top of the fans to provide some protection and maybe also some aesthetic bling on there too. Sold separately of course, but uh, but let EVJ know what do you guys think of their new cards. Gamescom. This this thing is huge. I'm comparing it to CES, and although CES is massive, it's kind of hard to do a direct comparison. There's 10 halls here, and all of them are massive. There's tons of game development companies. There's also hardware companies. So if you're into gaming and you're in Europe, or I guess, or you have the means to come out to Gamescom, I think it's a lot of fun. I was here on Media Day. I am told that this is just going to be completely packed. Uh, in the upcoming days when it's open to the public. So I'm actually not gonna be able to join for that because uh, we have an NVIDIA thing tomorrow. They're gonna be briefing us on some more information. 
But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. This has been a very quick, kind of light look at Gamescom. Also tried to find as many third-party design GTX 2080s and 2080 Ti's that were out there. Saw quite a few of those. I'm excited about those. It's too bad the prices are pretty high, but uh, for those who can afford it, I'm sure there will be some excitement when it comes to testing and everything. I'm in the main area right now, kind of the central gathering area, and you can get to all the different halls from here. Uh, but I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up button anyway if you enjoyed it. I'm going to go maybe travel around Europe a little bit more. <laughs> see how that goes. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.